Yo, what's going on, y'all? We're back with another VV and the Comey video, man. So in this one, we'll be talking about something that I find pretty interesting. And if you're if you're newer, if you are not a real, real OG and you don't actually know what's going on, please don't just don't comment because you're going to be mad at me and you're going to say, oh, why don't you just stop talking about the project? And the whole time, if you wouldn't have told your lie, I wouldn't have had to respond with the truth. So all of this could just be avoided if you just shut up, if you don't know what you're talking about. I mean, that that's really what it comes down to. It's very, very easy because at the point where you say something and it's a blatant lie, that's when I have to just, you know, educate you on why so many people are upset and why this project lost over a million people. So, I mean, if those numbers was ever real or if that, I don't know if that was fabricated from the start, but hey, it is what it is. Like, the fact of the matter is we know for 100% certainty that a huge chunk of this community has left. So that being said, let's actually talk about the real. So I got a comment that said, it was never about filling your pockets, nor should it have been. You people. Education time. Do you know how the birth of the VV app came to be? The Omi Token Investors. The Omi Token Investors is actually what funded the Vivi app. Obviously, these are Omi Token Investors, meaning that they funded the Vivi app to get something in return, meaning that it was about filling their pockets because the team needed these people to fill their pockets so that they could create the Vivi app that is now taking priority over those same investors that got VV to where they are. So this was all about filling pockets. VV needed their pockets filled. The investors wanted their their pockets filled. It's like, and then the people who was here and pumping VV also wanted their pop pockets filled. But let's not stop there. Let, let, let's keep let's let's keep going. Let's talk about some of the the promises and things that we were told by the the team by by Dan. You know, Dave. Um, Essentially, the Viviverse was supposed to be something where people could actually retire from their jobs. They could actually quit their jobs and they'll be able to work within the Viviverse full time making money. You know, like it was going to be about people being able to profit off of the VV app. It was very, very, the Omi token was sold on being linked to almost every transaction on the VV app. And that, that was the whole selling proposition of buying the token in the first place. And then the tokenomics changed, whether it's a lack of education or whether it was just a pivot or whatever. It changed from what was promised. So to say it was never supposed to be about filling your pockets and it shouldn't be is absolute nonsense because every project gets funded. Who's doing the funding? If you're not coming out of your own pocket and you're promising investors Oh, you, it'll be a VV verse. Oh, Batman will be able to scale walls. Oh, you'll be able to leave your job and work within the VV verse and all of this stuff. And that's what funds the success of VV. It damn sure is about filling pockets because what happened was we was all promised that our pockets would be filled. And the only pockets that got filled is David, Dan, the Akomi team, Al Khan, and, and all the other partners of of you know vivi that, that that's really what it came down to and this is no hate towards anybody getting paid making their money i just hate the fact that there was like i don't think that things had to go down the way that it's gone down and i don't know honestly they have proven to be very very incompetent in many areas and the community isn't touching on these key aspects so i don't know if this was some strategic master manipulative type of thing that's been going on from the beginning or I don't know if they're really just that clueless that they let all this happen and thought they were doing what was best. Because the level of incompetence they've displayed, they could literally just not know what they're doing because they have proven to not know what they're doing. So you can't, I don't want people coming to my videos saying, oh no, it's not that, it shouldn't have been about that when you have no idea what you're talking about. Instead, like I said in my last video, come to the videos, come to the comments with solutions. What can save the project now? How can it be turned around? Because the fact of the matter is 
you may not feel a certain way, but a bunch of the community has, and this is why the project is dying. So you wanna sit here and say, oh, hundreds of thousands of people have left this project, but it's not the project that's in the wrong. What, what, what type of legitimate project loses that amount of people as quickly as they gained that amount of people? People aren't stupid. They left once things stopped adding up with what the team was promising. They left once the team stopped communicating. This community was built. Look at how often we used to see Dan and David early on. They used to always talk about things and promise Batman scaling walls and promise the VVverse was going to be amazing and promise that it was coming in 2021 and all these promises, 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 promises. And then year after year after year, none of the promises was held up. They never kept their word and eventually people saw through it. The only reason that it took so long for people to see through it is because when it comes down to Vivi and their promises to their licensors, they keep those promises. So the licensors keep coming back and they're able to just keep slowly milking and milking and milking the community because the community needs some type of profit. The, the, the community is, is in so deep that they want to get something out of it so they can just keep milking and keep, oh, it's about collectors being really collectors at heart. Don't worry about all the money, the investments, the promises, and all of that stuff. We're going to start changing our terminology, marketing the company this way, and let's hope that everyone forgets about how this company was marketed and built from the start. That's not how things work. Because you may have fallen for the new, the new change in terminology, but I was here when it was an investment. You know, I, that that's that's when I joined. That that's when you know that's when a lot of people in the project joined the project back when it was an investment back when they had nfts and not digital collectibles you know back when it was about the omi token being everything being run using the omi token and all this stuff not when they were you know trying to change the tokenomics and they, they were scared of regulation and all of this stuff all of this stuff that is the era of the new vv moon boy now i get it People have been spending time getting brainwashed by the influencers that was left over here, you know, with, with Ty. Like, and in my opinion, a lot of the influencers that are probably left and that have stayed consistent throughout this project is influencers that's being paid behind the scenes in some way, shape, or form. They have a benefit in, in selling this to people, keeping as many people in this as possible, they, they're stuck. They're trapped, just like a lot of the people who believe in the project. And, I mean, you might as well make it a good time. You might as well make it about c truly collecting, because why not? But, but ironically, you talk about how it's all about true collector this, true collector that. And, and one of the biggest influencers here, didn't he have a Pokemon card collection? And that, that, that collection that's so valuable and it's not about the money and all of this stuff, didn't he not sell that whole collection for Vivi? And then Vivi just turn around and then go to shit? So it's like everything my man has saved for and worked for in his life damn near went into this project. That, like what? In, how can you even process in your mind why someone like that would ever want to let this project fail? But the problem with this is Fear isn't going to save the project and stop it from failing. Y'all getting some balls and acknowledging the issues, the mistakes, the flaws, and the things that can be enhanced by Ecomi, that is what's going to save the project. People are in too deep to think logically. I'm not. That's why I can give actual advice, criticisms, and feedback that can potentially help save the project. The problem with being in too deep is you'll just say and do anything and you want people to believe, blindly believe, so you can get your money out because you've given your all to a project. That's the tough part about really going all in. And I'm lucky that at the time where I invested in the project, me going all in, I didn't have much to go all in with. That's my saving grace. So I'm not even, I'm not judging nobody for the decisions that they've made. Like, do I agree with those decisions at this point where I stand right now? No, but there was a point in this project where I would have probably been in the same position. Luckily, I was not. So this is why I'm not on a high horse trying to speak down on nobody, but I hate people coming around sitting here trying to tell people, oh, 
this is not what it's about. This is, this. no, it, it was about this and something needs to be done. Something needs to be changed to change the sentiment of the entire project if you want to save this project. So don't come here on your high horses talking about, oh, you people, you 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 people, how, how do you not know what this project is really about? We do. So shut up trying to convince people otherwise because you're either ignorant or you're a liar trying to manipulate and actually do something of value like, Let's, let's come up with plans and ideas about how to push this project forward and really make it successful for everyone. Because Vivi is only out to please their investors. That's it. They're, they're only out to, in, in, to please their licensors, not, not investors. They're only out to please their licensors. The investors got screwed. And, and now everybody wants to sit here and say, after, after so many people have invested, everybody want to sit here and say Vivi is not an investment now. Like, how do you think that that's going to go over to people who have lost a lot in this project? After everyone invested, you're going to change the terminology and say, it's not an investment no more. It's about true collecting. We're collectors at heart. Sit your dumb ass up. Y'all sound crazy out here, bro. But anyway, that's the end of the video. I'm done cooking. <laughs> we going to be back with some more content soon, man. But y'all got to chill out, fam. Chill out if you don't know what you're talking about. Stay in your lane. This, this VV might not be for you, bro. It might not be for you, but daddy's home. <laughs> but there we have it, y'all. Thanks for coming through, chilling with your boy as always, and I'm going to catch y'all on the next one. Peace out, fam.